Hey y'all, Travis here. I am out in the cold, cold weather. My pool pumps are running to keep the water from freezing. It's a nice, cold, perfect day to smoke a turkey. Let me show you what I'm gonna be doing. So, just got the turkeys on. We're sitting right at 260. I'm gonna try and keep that knock down at least below 250. I like 225, but we don't want too low, but it is a cold day, so I'm going to keep it open make sure it doesn't drop too bad. Got my vent door open back there. Top vents. Slight opening. Just got turkeys on about 6.40 this morning. I'm going to go six hours with them. So we got two on the Primo Oval XL. Awesome. We'll see you back in a bit. Hey, also got the turkeys on. Just showed you that uh, we're gonna leave it 225 to 250 uh, for six hours. But you're looking for an internal temp of 165 to 170, preferably 170 in the thigh. We use the recipe from Primo Ceramic Grill Channel, the citrus brine turkey. If you never brine a turkey, you gotta do it. I'm never doing it any other way again. Awesome. The flavor comes out, the tenderness, and then the juiciness. A lot of times you smoke a turkey, or even in the oven, it's gonna dry out. But if you brine this turkey, brine your turkey, it's gonna be awesome. The juices will flow when you cut it. It's gonna be the most moist turkey you've ever had. So brine a turkey, smoke it. Even if you don't have a smoker, brine it and you're gonna cook it in the oven, gonna turn out 100 times better, promise you. So we'll show you back in a little bit. Um, got it stuffed with onions and oranges because it's a citrus brine. Uh, so that'll complement. And then I've got uh, peach wood, some orange wood, a little bit of apple wood on the smoker to complement those citrus flavors. Uh, and then rubbed it with the compound butter that's on the Primo Ceramic Grill channel uh, they give you that recipe there. One of my other turkey videos also has the recipe, but it's basically rosemary, uh, the zest of orange, lemon, and lime, mix it with the butter, salt, and pepper, and rub that turkey down with that. And then baste it every couple hours, hour to two, so. See you back in a bit. Hey y'all, so we're back. It's holding about 230 right now. I'm just gonna check it. Put a little more butter on it and something i didn't do earlier was pepper we got salt in the butter but i didn't pepper it so just add a little more butter kind of basting it and then later when we wrap it We'll really baste it even more, put more butter on it. A little bit of pepper, and you're good. They're looking good, temperature's holding. We're gonna wrap them around three hours to four hours, depending on how they look. But they're looking really good. Go ahead and rotate them too, just so they cook even. About another hour, we'll check them again. Okay. All right, so it's been right at four and a half hours, just right in there. We're gonna go ahead and baste it with some of the rest of our compound butter, and we're going to wrap it, put it in a pan, and wrap it with the foil real tight. For probably another hour and a half, two hours, we'll see where we are. And they are looking perfect to wrap. Nothing too dark. Nice golden color. I kind of go, not by temperature when I wrap, more for look. So when it's got that mahogany dark color, you see it's starting to get 
darker here. It's a good time to wrap. Perfect time. We'll see you back in a bit. Gonna get these wrapped in foil, rebasted. And we'll show you when we're done. All right, y'all, we tipped this turkey in the thigh and in the breast. And we've got 165 here, 170 in the thigh. We are done. It's been right at seven hours for this one, six and a half for the other one, holding at 250. Thanks for watching. These come out super juicy. I've cut the first one, tons of juice run out. We'll see if I can get a video of this one cut. Super juicy.